What's up guys, name is Dre and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. So one day is over after Zhang Li's release and today I want to showcase you the physical damage build. We are talking about DPS, damage per second, Zhang Li. Yeah, uh, actually we want to test it out. Uh, I just leveled them up today because I was a bit busy after the summonings yesterday. Um, I want to like change the pace how i want to do my showcases like to show more specific builds so you can watch them if you're interested and not to do like these big in-depth guides that are over 20 minutes long so without further ado let's take a look at his artifacts now i do run a two-piece gladiators and a two-piece bloodstains chivalry set to test the physical damage build i'm pretty sure that this won't be the last bit that i test but i did have it before because i was running this one on gene so just a quick look over the artifacts so you can just check this stat out yourself uh, for this one uh, for the goblet, I do run a physical damage bonus build, but I do believe that a attack percentage could be better on this spot. But I had to test it out because I don't have a um, attack percentage one, so I only do have physical damage bonus for now. Then I have a mask with crit damage rate. Ending up uh, only leveling it up to plus 16 because I don't think that there is a big impact leveling it up to plus 20 for now. So this is just for test reasons. The substance aren't too amazing on this. So that's the reason why I didn't keep on leveling this piece up. Uh, weapon wise, I did pull the Vortex Vanquisher. I did a summon off screen where I did pull it after a multi, I do believe. I think it was like a multi and some single summons. So these were my leftover primal gems after summoning for Zhang Li. Ending up getting the Vortex Vanquisher. So in theory, so this is something that I didn't test, but I am pretty sure on that still. If you want to run a DPS Zhang Li, I am pretty sure that the Vortex Vanquisher is, a, is still a very good option, but it is not the best option. If you want to run a full dps Zhang Li, i would recommend the crescent pike which you can get from the blacksmith maybe you want to take a look at the weapons real quick that are possible for Zhang Li. let's filter for poly arms yeah these are all the poly arms in the game so if you want to go for a dps build i do believe that these two are very close so this is if you want to go a bit more defensive build to keep on and work more with the shields this does have crypt rate so it is a pretty good one um, for dps but i do think that the crescent pike will outclass these two enemies especially because you can refine this easily this is a craftable weapon it is free to play so definitely i do think that this weapon will outclass any other weapons dps wise deathmatch i do think is an option a solid option but it is not as good as these three so i do think in terms of top tier weapons the best three are crescent pike primordial jade and vortex vanquisher when you want to build a dps one talking about other builds i will do a separate video of course um maybe you want to take a quick look at the constellations so i do not have any constellations he's constellation zero and all his talents are leveled up to level six so if you're wondering this is level seven because child is in my party so he does increase this up to one level now let's teleport to a location and see how much damage he is doing okay just a quick look at these stats i just forgot to mention that so there was a cut he has 2000 attack, 21,000 max HP, nearly 900 defense, 65 elemental mastery, looking at 27% crit rate, which could be potentially a lot higher. So he will be more DPS and he does 128% crit damage. Energy recharge is 128%, which could be um, also a bit higher, but I do think it is quite enough if you use him as a DPS character. So yeah. 83.3 percent physical damage so for the first damage test we want to fight against a ruin god i try to not use any elemental reactions just to show you the raw physical damage so look especially at the white numbers as you can see them using the vortex vanquisher so um 
maybe I want to build like a crescent pike later, but it does take quite a lot of resources and I really want to upgrade like other characters. Yeah, so as you can see against the ring guard, he doesn't do too much physical damage, too much auto attack damage. So let's try to work with his abilities, use his ultimate. So ultimate did quite a lot of damage, so I didn't pay attention on the numbers. But John Lee attacks way fast, so I think you shouldn't pay too much attention on the numbers, but on the speed. So he does like just small attacks, but in a very small frame. So ulti back again, we can use it again. <clears throat> so I actually do think that, okay, now we have to dodge it. I actually do think, let's heal up. I actually do think that John Lee DPS is very good. He's like not insane, like child Kaching the Luke or Razor, but I definitely do like the DPS Zhang Li. So in general, I do think he is a very interesting, versatile character comparing to others because you can splash him literally in any team that you like and he will do fine. So we have to notice from the fighters, it did take quite some time, of course. But the big thing on this is that we were constantly hitting him without any supports. Now let's try to get another fight and after this we want to do a fight with some elemental reactions. Alright guys, I did vent over here to see how he does deal with uh, smaller groups of enemies. Still want to do solo things, so yeah, he does clear them pretty fast. So the big thing is, don't pay too much attention on numbers, especially on a character like Zhang Li, because you won't do as big numbers as I would say like Mona or other characters that can do elemental reactions and burst enemies down. But what he can do is he can use his E like every three seconds, which is insane. And you also don't need to pair him up with other Geo characters to use him optimally as a DPS. He does fine. I do not swap between any characters. That's just for test reasons. Usually, of course, you should do this. Um, you can use this ultimate like every 12 seconds. It only has 40 energy recharge. So I do think he does quite well as a DPS character. Um, in my eyes, I do believe he is not the... It is not his best role being a DPS. So that's still what I do think. He is good, but it is not his best role. His best role is, I do think, a supportive nuker. So you just want to swap it in, use his ultimate, maybe use this pillar if you want to. And other, other than that, you swap him out and get back to your normal DPS. So let's take a look at another rune guard using elemental reactions alongside with Zhang Li. Okay, let's do another rune guard. This time we want to use Sinchu and Bennett as the supporters. Swap back, uh, swap into Sinchu, activate the Ruin God, use ultimate, use Bennett ultimate, swap to Zhang Li, and let's go. Keep attention on paying out the crystals so you will get the shield, then you can use your ultimate. After you have the shield, of course, you do not receive any damage. Look how long the Petrify goes. And yeah, you would take a bit longer so he doesn't burst the enemies as fast as like Child or Beidou do. So of course I do have him have life right now. We can just swap to Child and take a look and do some comparison. Okay, Child without any supporter. Uh, I also don't want to use the ultimate. But you can see that the numbers are like way faster. Child is also attacking very fast. So this... Just does show that Zhang Li is not made to be a DPS, but he is still viable as a DPS. Maybe you want to do one boss fight just to show everything off in one fight. Um, I think I'd like to fight against the Pyro Regis Vine. Alright, let's see how good he does deal against the Pyro Regis Vine. So it does take quite some time without using any supporters. Let's try to go and 
you cinch you so we want to speed up the process. Yeah, I do think you will have some troubles as a DPS uh, fighting against bosses. So you definitely will need another one to keep like on his weaknesses. Look at Child. Okay, of course Child does vaporize against this guy. So he does way more damage. Now for the rest we want to do um, to let Zhang Li do the rest. Yeah, you can see he does take quite some time. Let's go. To beat up the Pyro Regis line. So, I don't know if we will be better with the Bolite side. I currently have no. Uh, I currently wasn't able to build it because I do miss out on one piece. But. As soon as I progress through some different artifact builds, because I want to build different artifact sets anyway on this guy, I do think he's so interesting. So at the beginning, I wasn't really into this character, but seeing that he is so versatile in his usage, uh, usage and in his builds, it makes me really want to test out the character. Yes, guys, I do think that that's already enough for a DPS uh, showcase so you did saw the numbers how he does deal against certain enemies dealing damage looking future wise i definitely want to make uh, more content for zhang li i definitely want to split like these showcases in different aspects for the future so i can roll out more videos for you guys and be more specific yeah and if you guys do enjoy like comment and subscribe and it would me help out a lot then I'll see you guys next time. If you guys want to see more Genshin Impact content, videos should pop up on the screen right now. Make sure to check them out then. I thank you for your support.